Welcome to Horn Alive. Today I'm standing here on the second floor with a freshman student. Your name? I'm Chloe Shear. Chloe Shear. Chloe's a ninth grader. She's on the 9-H team. And I said, you know what? I have not interviewed a 9-H student this year, so I thought, hey, it's time to interview, interview a 9-H student. So, Chloe, tell me how you like East Harvard High School. Um, I think it has greatly impacted me, like going from middle school to high school, and with all the help and support from the staff and new students that I've met, it's just helped me, you know, feel welcomed and wanting to learn and Good. all that. What's the difference between high school and middle school? What's the biggest difference? Besides that the hallways are a little wider and the ceiling's a little higher, what's the big difference? Um, I think there's just more opportunity here in the high school than there is middle school. Like for instance, I play volleyball now and I didn't get the chance to play this in middle school because there was no sport during middle school. So this is the first time you ever played volleyball? Yes. Well, you're a risk taker, I like that. How did the season go? Okay, yeah. yeah. Are you like in love with volleyball? You like love it? Yeah, that's why I'm managing the boys team too. Oh, great, good for you. Now you do a lot of clinics and stuff like that in the off season, you stay in shape? Yeah, um, I recently hurt my shoulder, but I'm trying to, you know, get it back in shape, ready for swinging it, whatever. Oh, great, super. So um, how has it been on the 9 age team? Has it been a challenge with the yes, workload? Yes, a big challenge, because I've been used to doing really well in school and getting A's and B's, but now since it's more of a struggle with, especially geometry, I And Mr. To, Hockley, of course. Yeah, I have to try harder at everything that I do. Good, good. And so, uh, do you have any goals for school in terms of GPA? Things like that? This year has been a little rough, so next year hopefully I can start getting 4.0s. Nice, 4.0s, that would be good. I'm sure a lot of students here would like to get 4.0s. Yeah. Maybe you can even like sell some of your GPA points to other students around here. Mm. No, you can't Nothing to sell, yeah. <laughs> So um, what, what are your goals here? Like, what, what do you want to do at the end of the road? Like, um, what would you like to accomplish academically and maybe, you know, uh, athletically? So athletically, I would maybe like to play volleyball in high school in college, but if that doesn't happen, I want to pursue my career in music education. I've already decided my future classes in music. I'm hoping, hopefully, it can be taking guitar, piano. I'm already in band. I want to do AP music theory when I'm a junior, so I'm already kind of planning out what I want to do. Do you want to work like pro producing music, directing music, be a teacher of music? Yeah, music education. Oh, cool. To cool. middle school or high school. Well, I, I don't know the difference between a guitar and, you know, a xylophone. I have no idea. So, you know, I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> but um, my last question to you is, um, before we go, is uh, do you know what kind of schools you'd like to go to? Have you thought about any colleges? Yes, and it's the ones that everybody says, but specifically CCSU. Okay. My mom went to CCSU and knows there's a good music program where we can collaborate with schools within East Hartford, and I can, you know, just get the experience there from teachers I already know. Good. Okay, so my final question that I ask everyone, adults or students, what's one thing that nobody knows about Chloe? I think I'm pretty much an open book, so if you ask me anything, I'll say anything, so I don't really know okay. anything. Well, you did a great job today at Hornet Live. Thank you. And uh, we look to see how much you grow in the next three or four years. Thank you again. Yeah.